be among puffballs, three species stand out for their contrasting forms and habitats. The common puffball, Lycoperdon palatum, is small, pear-shaped, and covered in tiny pearl-like spines that later fall off and leave a net pattern behind. It grows mainly on forest floors and decomposes leaf litter, recycling nutrients back into the soil. When young and pure white inside it is edible, but caution is essential because early puffball stages can resemble unopened ammonita buttons, which include some of the most dangerous mushrooms in the world. The meadow puffball, Lycoperdon pratense, is smaller, rounder, and typically found in open grasslands and meadows. Its scurfy skin and short stump-like stem help separate it from both the common puffball and the giant puffball. And then there is Calvatia gigantea, the giant puffball, smooth, stemless, and enormous, sometimes reaching the size of a football. Like its smaller relatives, it is a saprotroph that releases billions of spores through an opening at the top once fully mature. All three are edible only when the interior is solid white, but their distinct shapes, textures, and habitats make them easy to identify with a little practice.